Jeremiah is facing a hindrance-defining moment in these opening verses. We know he's going to succeed because we have the rest of the book that it, where he actually does what God tells him to do. But there is a moment right here where he might not have believed God and done what he asked him to do. And it's really in spite of his own view of himself and his own personality. See, the hindrance for, for Jeremiah is a word we're going to use, diffident. We don't really use the word very much, but he is experiencing diffidence. And I want to give you the definition because I, I don't think you're just throwing that around on Facebook and t putting your thumbs to it. So uh, diffidence is timidity, lacking self-confidence, marked by hesitation and asserting oneself shyness. Jeremiah is not alone. We find the same thing with Moses. We find it with Saul. Uh, we also found it with Gideon. You see is in the opening lines this problem. God triumphantly declares his preparations and his precise plan for Jeremiah saying, I have known you since before you could be known and I chose you for this. Here it is. I want you to do this. And Jeremiah replies, sir, with all due respect, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I th think you've got me all wrong. See, I already have a job. I'm a priest. I already have a job. I'm already serving you. And in this job, I am supposed to stand back and listen because it is not my time to be in the front talking and I'm going to listen. What we really see happening with Jeremiah is he's beginning to shrink back. And then he tells us why. Lord, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm a child. I can't speak. I'm not trained to do that. That is outside my gifting and my personality. I am very content back here in the, on the sidelines. Very content. He's shrinking back from God's call on his life. He's not shrinking back because he's afraid of danger. He doesn't shrink back because he's lazy and he doesn't want to be involved in the Lord's work. He's already in the Lord's work. He's not even shrinking back because of selfish reasons. His whole life is about bringing people to the Lord and, and together with him and, and fellowship and relationship with them. That's not why he's shrinking back. He's shrinking back out of inexperience. He has no idea how to do that, that God is calling him to. Because that calling is, lies outside of his own perceptions of himself and it really lies outside his personality. Scholars will say, this is not his personality. The problem of diffidence, it, it can be a good thing. It can be a sign of humility. You would always like to see that in someone that God is called to maybe be in the front, that they would just have that sense that this is bigger than them. And so it could be a good thing, right? We might consider it that. But here... For Jeremiah, as it was for Moses, as it was for Gideon, even for Saul, it becomes a hindrance. And when it is indulged in, it becomes sin. When God has clearly given us the means to overcome it, it is sin. 